FirstChem is a multinational corporation that I've had loads of information that they have little or no regard to government health and safety procedure. This is FirstChem's northeast production plant. The plant is situated near schools, hospitals and residential homes. OK, so let's look around. As you can see, the gates are open and there's no security. I haven't seen any guards or any CCTV cameras. Throughout the time I was at the plant, I was never questioned about the activities that I was doing or asked for any ID passes. These are all breaches of the EU Chemical Production and Storage Act of 2001. This is the staff side entrance for First Chem officers. I was looking for Miss Brown, the First Chem lawyer. She's been very hard to get an interview from. Don't think there's anyone there. Try again. Miss Brown wasn't in her office at the time I attempted to get an interview from her, but she did release this statement. At First Chem, we take health and safety really seriously. We have a very tight security policy that includes security guards, closed circuit television cameras. Until we receive video evidence of these policies being breached, there is nothing more I am required to say. I went to the staff canteen to plan my next steps to get an interview with Miss Brown. We had been contacted by someone working at First Chem, who for legal reasons we cannot release their name. Hello? They told us that we could yeah. get a good cup of coffee at the canteen. Yeah. This may be the only good thing that First Chem does. Uh -huh. Ah, interesting, right. Okay, yes, I'm The whistleblower had asked us to meet us here in the canteen. So, uh, when did you see Mr. Rex dump the uh, waste? Well, it was about uh, two or three weeks ago. Do you know where he, where he, uh, whereabouts he dumped it? Somewhere along over there, round, next right, left. And uh, what did he use to get it there? So. Tough question. I'm not quite sure. I think it was a van of some description. And did he say anything to you by any chance? Not really. Our informant was very worried about the, his family and for his own safety if First Cam found out he was helping us. This was the last time I ever had contact with him face to face. This is the area that he told us about. It was evident that things weren't quite right here. What's in these? Yeah. I also found this room that he hadn't told me about. What I found shocked me. What I was watching was a Sky News report that had been banned from being shown. Legal action was threatened by First Chem on B Sky B if they'd shown this bulletin. On the day that this bulletin was going to be shown, Sky was experiencing technical difficulties. This report featured a school near the First Chem plant in Scotland where 300 pupils and 20 staff had been infected with liquid that had been coming through the drinking water taps. This particular version of the report claimed that the police had not found any evidence that linked this with First Chem us as well on 84501. One of my colleagues that worked for Sky News also had another version of this report. This report blamed First Chem for breaching the chemical storage rules and also legislation about depositing hazardous waste. I went to the local village near the northeast First Chem production plant. When I talked to the residents they told me this area had been destroyed by First Chem, but not one of the residents could do anything about it. Every complaint was brushed aside and it just continues.
Sitting by a river On a warm summer day Thinking of the giver Who's also to take her away Stunned by the suchness There's not a lot to say these pipes come directly from First Chem site that spills waste into this river. Won't buy the mystery Instead of being scared Touched by a raindrop annoying. Wildlife has been killed and the river is contaminated with chemicals. But First Chem insists that these pipes only carry water. Some of the residents say that this area will never be the same again until First Chem is stopped. I went back to the plant to have another look around. I was told by an anonymous tip-off that there was a more secure area. So there's something in here we're not supposed to see? Ah, card. Our whistleblower had given us an access card to get into these areas and there seems to be a little more security here than in other places. I heard voices as I was coming up the stairs, so I decided to shut off the cameras before our cover was blown. Miss Brown! When I was walking through to the car park, I saw the elusive Miss Brown. Mrs. Brown! I decided to ambush her and see if I could get an interview. Can we just ask you a couple of questions? No, no, I've, I've got to be somewhere. It'll only take like, about a couple of minutes. We'd better do. What? Right. What, do you, what do you think about the allegations that our, our key team has just found out about your company's health and safety standards? The allegations are entirely false. The company takes health and safety issues extremely seriously. You mentioned inspectors visiting the site. We would never object to inspectors visiting us. Well, we've got video evidence about these being breached, you know? But, as you well know, we haven't received this so-called video evidence. Well, we sent it to you about a couple of weeks ago. Well, we didn't receive it. Well, I've got a receipt here from Royal Mail, special delivery. It's signed by you. Yes, well, this interview's over. Miss Brown? Miss Brown didn't seem to like our official Royal Mail report. Miss Brown. You want to reschedule? Miss Brown. I never did get to rearrange another meeting with Miss Brown, but clearly, from her attitude, she didn't want to talk to us. Guns and money. Huh. Uh. Oh no! My washing machine. Can you fix it? Well, look, it's completely clogged with lime scale. That's why it's broken down. You don't use Calgon, do you? No. Why? Well, Calgon helps prevent lime scale damage like this. I'll have to take it away. Calgon Dual Action helps prevent lime scale buildup from the very beginning of the wash. That's Calgon Protection. It's the only one recommended by these trusted washing machine manufacturers. Washing machine, Love is in the shadows Kissing leaves one by one Where I go it follows And warms me with the sun Bright butterfly and there's so much to be done Oh